You're best known as being the owner of the Dallas Mavericks NBA basketball team. Uh, President Trump talks about the hunger to get back to life as normal, including life in uh, people supporting and going to games. Take a look. They want to sit next to each other like normal at a football game, baseball game, basketball game, hockey game. No, we want to go back to life. But, you know, you were talking about people not immediately uh, going embracing the idea of big crowds, 20,000 people in an arena sitting right next to a stranger. So do you think the NBA returns this season? Uh, how do you do that with social distancing? And could you envision a situation where everybody who comes in has to have their temperature taken? Well, a couple questions there, Chris. Do I see us getting back to a season? I don't want to make any predictions, but I'm hopeful that we will. But I don't think we'll play in front of fans. I think initially we'll play just for the TV cameras with essential personnel and players. And I think that's a great thing because I think we need things to cheer for. We need teams to get excited about. We want a communal experience so we can all root for our favorite teams. That's going to be a big step. And I think the NBA recognizes that that's a responsibility we have and that we'll undertake as soon as it's safe because we won't do anything to jeopardize the safety of our players or employees. Now, part two to that, in terms of when do we get back to that sense of normalcy where we can all crowd into a stadium or an arena, once we have confidence in the medicine, then I think that's when it happens. When, you know, again, American exceptionalism is outstanding. You know, we, the scientists are going to come up with solutions. And when they do, and when we have that confidence, people will go back. We're already taking the precautions and already going through the process at the American Airlines Center to say, okay, what do we need to do in terms of sterilization, sanitization, um, repeat cleanings, in terms of informing people that, you know, the, the seat that they're in has been cleaned, you know, two hours ago or three hours ago, whatever it may be. And so we'll take those necessary steps. So once, once the science is in place and we start to feel confident, then the, the facilities and the arenas and stadiums, et cetera, will take the steps to make sure that it's clean. And then once we start going through, confidence will build.